Hello, um, today I want to talk about whether technology has reduced human security. First of all, I think that technology has reduced human security. Um, before that, I would like to reach a consensus. Uh, technology is not developed for the sake of human security, uh, but to meet the growing need to people for a better life. The progress of technology is obvious to all of us. Uh, it is even more noteworthy. Today is not a discussion about the pros and cons of technological progress, uh, but how the technological progress is subjectively felt by people. Uh, next, I will discuss the following steps. Uh, first. Progress of technology is often from the objective world. The objective world security enhancements bring a sense of security uh, and the formation of a person's sense of security lies on the subjective perception of whether the environment in which they are in a comfortable range. As an example, uh, people often mistakenly think that having uh, enough money, they can get a sense of security. Uh, in fact, uh, it is not. Uh, security is not seen as the sickness of the wallet, which only shows that you have enough external materials conditioning. Uh, the service looks very safe. But in fact, um, it does not mean that you have a sense of security inside. Uh, because security is not the same as the feeling safe. Some people may think that technology is a threat to human being because of the user. Uh, but it is a human being who create technology, human being who use technology human beings who are affected by technology. Uh, so our discussion today cannot be separate from human beings and the different effects of the technology on human beings are manifestation of its nature. Uh, secondly, the insecurity and the risk brought to us by technology come from many kinds of reliance on technology. Uh, humans have opened a Pandora box more than once in the field of technology and the science effects accompanying technology are accommodating. Modern information technology is so advanced that more and more people rely on it. However, due to the excellence of single information, we have to feel worried when being listened to by others. Resulting in the lack of privacy, the information will used by whom will continue to be disseminated and even strengthened. The development of Technology can only temporarily alleviate, alleviate, alleviate human insecurity, but not bring a sense of security. The driving force of development has changed. In the past, the uh, technology was developed by survival, but now it is developed by satisfying human needs and desires. We will find more and more problem to cross the development of science and technology, or even the problem generated by sense of technology to lead the development of science and technology. For example, the invention of plastic once brought convenience to people's life, but also brings a serious in of environmental problems. Um, plastics accounts for a signature proportion of garbage, but increases the difficult and the cost of waste disposal. Uh, waste 
plastics is difficult to degrade for hundreds of years. If it burns in the ground, it is easy to pollute groundwater, prevents the growth of plant roots, and damage the quantity of soil. White pollution has become a major environmental hazard, so it is not the technology to reduce the security of mankind. Um, so science and the technology cannot solve all the problems facing mankind. I, so I make this point not to limit the development of science, but to confront the insecurity that comes with technological development. That's all I want to express.